It has been evident to me for more than a year, as I have warned repeatedly and consistently in public, that the world at large has continued to be hinged on the gravest threat to the human species in all known history, a threat now recognized by an increasing number of the most powerful of the world's leading national governments. The winter, not of our delights, but of our thermonuclear warfare, warfare culminating with an approximately less than an hour and a half uh, to a years-long radioactive winter born of a global impact of a general thermonuclear war. At present, the leading threat of such a war is located within the trio of the British monarchy and its auxiliaries, the Saudi Kingdom and the U.S. Barack Obama presidency, poised not only against Russia and China, but the human species at large. For us in our United States, the likelihood that such a global event would occur hinges on the continued influence of the regime of the current U.S. President Barack Obama. Without Obama's continued control over U.S. policy, a thermonuclear war and its mass destruction of most American citizens could not be likely to occur at this time, if Obama were rightfully expelled from office. The crucial fact is that no important power on this planet could, would consider launching such a war excepting the circles of Barack Obama, the British monarchy, and the British puppet known as the Saudi monarchy. The issue for all sane statesmen today is preventing such a war, and such a war is the justified cause for removal of President Barack Obama from office. Without the current role of Barack Obama as a stooge for the British and Saudi monarchies, such a thermonuclear war would be impossible at this time. What I've said thus far brings up a crucial and very important practical question. Polar bears, Kodiak bears, and grizzly bears kill and are known to eat human beings when such respective victims were available. Do we say that the, these beasts had conspired? Do we call cows eating grass conspirators? What historians and others may identify as the often grisly behavior of republics and nationalities generally, we often do name as conspiracies. In that and related senses of practical meanings, all great upheavals in human history, especially the grisly ones, <laughs> eh, are the fruit of conspiracies. Indeed, like predatory creatures generally, all of the most notable wars and warlike human conflicts are products of nations doing what they do not know they are actually doing as American citizens do not know what they were actually doing when they appear to have voted for President Obama. Truly great statecraft demands that the knowable fraud driving most public, political, and related mass opinion, such as political support for President Obama's re-election, has little more rationality in its motives as insight into their own personal motives as the poor, damned fools who would vote for Barack Obama again. And that is the theme, our opening of the theme, which is going to be put on tape and put alive on the, on the screen mm -hmm. this coming Friday.